who live in East San Jose are rallying to keep their local trauma center from closing. Jose Martino was there as one former patient told the Board of Supervisors that the minutes that she saved having that hospital so close to where she lived likely saved her life. I'm here right outside the Santa Clara County building where elected officials and residents have been working hard to try to stop the closure of East San Jose's only trauma center. Sharon Martinez told the crowd at Tuesday's Board of Supervisors meeting she might not be here today if the East San Jose Regional Trauma Center hadn't been there for her back in 2019 when she suffered a brain hemorrhage. I had a stroke and I told my husband to call 911. She says the fact that her house in Milpitas is less than 15 minutes away from the hospital was a game changer. The surgeon that operated on me told me that when he first saw me, he didn't know that he could save me. So it was, I was going. Excuse me. And I want them to hear what they're doing is not going to work because they will do, try to do everything far away. There's not that much time. She's urging regional not to go through with the plan to close its trauma center in August. The hospital says it's not seen enough patients to justify keeping it open. That will leave Valley Medical Center about 20 minutes away as the next closest option for patients like Sharon and her husband Benjamin. To um, feel that we have a, 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 a sup medical support system out there that can help us if something goes wrong. I don't know what's going to happen if something happens to me. You know, we won't have any help. I'm a county report shows regional sees nearly 2,500 trauma patients per year. Shutting down the trauma center would mean patients experiencing emergencies like heart attacks or strokes would have to travel much farther for care. This is a public safety issue for the entire community. It directly impacts the people who live, work, and play around the east side of San Jose near the regional medical center because that's the closest emergency room. That's the closest level two trauma center. It's the closest place you can go to get stro stroke um, uh, intervention. So that's why it's such a big impact there. But all of those patients will have to go to other emergency rooms. So the other option, Stanford, is even further away, at least 45 minutes depending on traffic. Closure of these services will cause an immediate cascade of negative effects, not only for the communities around regional, which will be most impacted, but for the whole county. Increased demand for transfers out of their emergency department, more need for, for ambulances, longer wait times, congestion over there, as Paul was saying. And our shared community and its most vulnerable members will be disproportionately affected, our communities of color, and those with less socioeconomic means. For now, Sharon and her husband say they'll keep showing up to other hearings if they have to, to keep sharing their story. He says good things about what did happen to me. Um, my uh, neurological surgeon was excellent. He, he really life. saved my life. And, and one of the things after hours of public comment, the board forwarded the county report to the state urging the Department of Health Services to step in and help block that closure.